part of my job is to ask the question, are all the myriad of biological products out there worthwhile? Polyamy, B sure, and we saw that taurus sulfur all increase soybean yields. Hi, my name is Jake Boston Kemper, Director of Agronomy and Research here at Liquor Grow. Hi, I'm Katie Hess, Director of Sales and Marketing here at Liquor Grow. Dr. Jake, this is totally off the cuff. I hear you talk about biologicals all the time. Uh, we're starting to plant. Should we be adding some sort of biological in with the starter? Should we be putting it on our first pass for corn, or should we be waiting for second pass post-trip with corn? Oh, boy. Off okay. the cuff. All right, so let's start with the in furrow uh, question. Number one. I just have to be completely honest, part of my job is to ask the question, are all the myriad of biological products out there worthwhile, okay? And I've looked at a whole bunch of them. Have I looked at all of them? No, I have not, but I've looked at a whole bunch of them. So the things that I say here are things that products that I have found in my research trials to be beneficial. Yeah, and okay? we're not asking for you to know everything and be the no. encyclopedia. No, but I'd like to be, but it's impossible. Yes. I know. Okay, so if you're applying an infer product that I have found to be extremely as consistent as a biological product gets from memory at about 75% of the sites that I've tested this product at, uh, we've, we've seen a yield increase. Okay, and that's MicroAZ. It's a, it's, a, a, it's a bacteria called Azosprilli umbrella sensei. I've seen about a five bushel yield increase over 100 different comparisons. So that would be applied at 12.8 ounces to the acre in furrow for corn. There's a sister product that can be used in soybean. It has the same azosprillium bacteria in it plus Brady rhizobium. I have found right at about a two bushel yield increase in soybean when that but that has to be applied in furrow. So one of the issues is not a lot of folks can do that in soybean but if you can I've seen about a two bushel yield increase, 12.8 um, ounces is the same rate as the corn product, but that has the azosprillium bacteria and Brady rhizobium, okay? What I've also found and what the Iowa Soybean Association found is that in tougher environments, it can be larger than two bushel, okay? Just like anything else we see, it seems like. In really productive soils, extremely productive <laughs> soils, you may not see two bushel, all right? And we've been selling this product for uh, roughly three years now. And the guys in North Central Iowa were telling me that in IDC iron chlorosis fields, it's quite a bit larger than two bushel. And if you think about it, what is that? That's a stressy environment. Okay, so it probably makes sense. Does it right? have a name, the sister product for the oh, beans? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I didn't say that. I thought I said I don't that. Think New, so. New Tech SI is the name of that product. Either one of those products, the Micro Easy and the New Tech SI, they don't really have a lot of flashy marketing. It's You don't see a lot of it, but no. do a little Google search. Call our guys at um, Liquor Grow, the sales yep. applicators. We'd love to help you with that. Yep. Okay, what about, that's in furrow, what about first pass or second pass on corn? Do you see a benefit from either one of those with any biologicals? Okay, so I have, I'm just kind of beginning to do a lot of research looking at fully applied biological or non-traditional products, okay? What I saw last year, and this is the average of three locations, and each location has at least six replicates, maybe, maybe closer to eight on average, but a bunch of replications, okay? So we saw that um, polyamine, mm -hmm. uh, we saw that b sure, and we saw that taurus sulfur um, all increased soybean yields um, somewhere between that one and a half to two and a half bushel yield increase dependent on the product. So we're seeing a return on our investment. Yeah, generally speaking. And that's off the cuff. That's from memory, that one and a half to two and a half bushel. Um, I don't recall the rates of those products off the cuff, but I'm sure that's something. That, we have that graph. I can throw that in here. Yep, absolutely. And I looked at that product in soybean at both V5 or, you know, that V3, that post herbicide timing and R3 in soybean. And all those products I just mentioned generally increased yields at both timings, but the yield increase with all three of those products was larger at the V5 timing. Will I find that going forward? I'm not sure. 
<clears throat> but I'll continue to look at that, you know, is there a best timing? But in general, the yield increase happened at both timings, slightly larger at the V5. V5, okay. Now, conservative Jake would say, well, you know, am I gonna see that every year from those three products? Maybe, maybe not, but we were sure off to a good start in 23. I'll continue to look at those products and other products going forward. Okay, you heard it here first, and we're glad to see that our folks up in north central Iowa got some much needed rain. Yep, absolutely. We were just talking about that earlier this week, and everybody yep. else did too, and hopefully get a little rest and get back out to, to the fields. Good luck planning. Stay in the know with Liquid Grow.